What's going on everyone? Kyle here from Colossus Fitness. Welcome to today's video. Without wasting any more of your time, here's an amazing arm blaster workout you can do from the comfort of your own home with super light dumbbells. It should take no longer than 20 minutes, probably about 15 minutes max. Super high intensity, a little bit of rest. Let's jump right into it. So first circuit is gonna be dumbbell floor press. You're gonna take your dumbbells here, Keep your arms nice and tight to target more triceps. We're gonna be doing about 15 to 20 reps of these, depending on how much weight you have. Let's blast these out. Okay. Moving into exercise number two, so that was A1, here's A2, okay? We're just gonna do regular hammer curls. We're gonna be going for 12 to 15 reps, arms nice and tight. It's gonna target the forearms nicely. Keep your arms tight to your side and slow down the movement. If you have 15s, it can still be done. Count down three, two, one. If they're heavier weights, totally cool with getting just a nice pump and controlling. Come on, let's go, 15 reps. Two percent number two to get those arms pumped up is gonna be dips into Zotman curls. So you can do different kind of dips. These are easy to do at home, find any bench. Um, you wanna bring yourself to a nice right angle here, come down to where you're comfortable and up. You don't wanna go too low to where you're gonna really stress that shoulder. Go to where you're comfortable, feel it through your tricep, pump it up. Um, you know, depending on your expertise, you'll be able to do a lot of these. If you can add weight, all the better. Um, obviously, if you don't have a ton of weight around, you just gotta do some more reps or play with tempo. Go slow, negatives, big contraction on the way up. Slow negative, big contraction on the way up. I could probably do these all day because I'm a beast, but it's a good way to fire up the triceps. So next we're gonna jump right into Zotman curls. This is a great way to really work the full range of the arm. So you're gonna curl up in supination, come down in pronation. Reset. This absolutely fires up the forearms as well as the bicep. I'm a big fan of these because you have to be really intentional and slow. If you don't know how to do these, we also got a form video on how to get these done. Depending on your weight, obviously the rep schemes will change. So do keep that in mind. If you got really heavy weights, you can do less, it's okay. If you got really light weights and you can do a million, do a million. And before we jump into superset number three, make sure to click that first link in the description to apply for coaching. We've had to get super creative over this last entire year, creating home workouts, helping people optimize their nutrition, stay accountable, you know, fix lifestyle habits that are affecting their goals. So make sure we're accepting three people right now who are looking to not only lose weight, but build muscle over the next 90 days to get a discounted rate, apply now. Let's jump back into it. So next up we have skull crushers followed by cross body curls. Now, a lot of people are gonna say they can't do a full range of motion for skull crushers. Yes, if you have a bench, that'd be awesome. Let's gonna assume, we're gonna assume that you don't have a bench. You can do the bench dips on a chair, but for these, just make the most of it, arms straight, Get a nice curl in here, and then all the way up, okay? Once again, yes, it may not be a full range of motion, but we gotta do what we gotta do, okay? All the way down, and then up. We're gonna hit 12 to 15 reps. Get a nice pump in those triceps. And then next up, <coughs> Gonna grab onto those same dumbbells, keep holding it, just do cross body, okay? It's gonna help target a bit of a different part of the biceps. We've already hit forearms a lot. Now let's switch it up here, okay? Cross body, right into your shoulder. All right, now for your finisher here, you're gonna go overhead tricep extensions. So you're gonna have a nice strong core. You don't wanna lean into your spine too much. Bring those elbows in tight, pump it up to the top. Go to where you're comfortable extending without trying to flare out like this. It's hard sometimes. But try and keep it as tight as you can. Brace through those abs. Great way to fire up those triceps. You can see my elbows wanting to come out. You wanna keep them as tight as you can. And this is gonna differ for everyone. You know, if you got wider lats, you might flare it a bit, but just keep in tension with that tightness. Bang out those, I recommend 15 to 20. Then we're gonna jump into my favorite, bicep 21. So we're gonna start with seven low. Just 
right up to the top, seven high. Nice squeezes here. So some degree of control, five, six. Now for the fun part. Arms are feeling it, let's get seven full reps. Three. Nice and slow for that last rep. Boom, there you go. That's a quick way to fire up your biceps, especially at home, or if you want a little chair on top for your, uh, you know, just a workout, maybe a push day, a pull day. You wanna add in some arms. This is a great little burnout. Hopefully you really enjoyed this. If you did, subscribe, smash like, and comment down below your favorite exercise. I'm really curious to see which one gave you the most burn. Thank you.